Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's show with me, Jermaine. Hey guys, I've been in a bit of a reflective mood, I think, more recently. You know, really considering um, what it is we're doing with Avoiding Broke, where it's been going, where we want to take it. That's the really important bit for me. And is the more I think there is a kind of a structure that's really emerging. And it, it touches on something that I'm really passionate about, um, which is basically the improvement of people. And sometimes it's almost like we need a little opportunity to step back, reflect on what we've done, and think about how do we improve ourselves in a kind of structured, sensible way. Is the more it's really great if we can all consider how do we make that type of self-improvement. So, you know, with that, I just wanted to kind of break down a few of the areas that I think um, we're going to try and structure avoiding broke into. And it'll be really great to get your opinion on whether or not we're kind of hitting the right notes or if there's something slightly different that we could do. Um, and as ever, guys, before we do any of that, if you could please just smash the like button and smash the subscribe, especially if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, that would be super helpful. Um, just to help make sure we can get more of the content and information into the hands of more people who may benefit from it. Okay, so just kicking off firstly, I think is that real work that we're looking at around mindset, mental health, mental well-being. You know, arguably the biggest challenge affecting all of us during this whole COVID time has been just how the mind has really been put under a lot of pressure and thinking about how we need to strengthen it to make sure we can deal with the uncertainty. You know, you'll hear people talk a lot about volatility, uncertainty, um, doubt, fear. All of these things can exist during this COVID time. And a lot of work that we're doing is really focusing on how to strengthen that mind. Now, there are a lot of elements to that, right? Um, it's not just kind of the, it, it, it's, I think it's the reading that you do. It's the time that you spend in quiet meditation. It's the time you spend just taking really good quality rest, um, engaging with good people, you know, people who are going to uplift you. So that, that kind of mindset is really shaped by probably a lot of different factors. And as we go on that journey for ourselves, we're kind of really trying to share more of what we're doing with yourselves. I think the second thing that we're really looking at then is kind of more around that personal finance and investing element. Now, why is that so important? Well, actually, one of the things that I've been talking with a lot of you about is kind of this idea of social mobility, right? Now, you may have heard that term used before. I mean, if you just think it's a term that looks and says, how do we as just normal people manage to improve our situation in life? Or how do we as one generation manage to improve things sufficiently for the next generation so that what they inherit from us is even greater than what we inherited? That's kind of how I think about social mobility. And a really big way of doing, of achieving that or of helping you achieve that is through the whole personal finance and investing field. You know, so if you just take, for example, the whole concept of how much money you're capable of saving in order to pass it on, or it might be how much you've in, say, invested in something like property or um, a stock or the stock market, and then how much you benefit from yourself firstly, and then how much you successfully pass on. Those are the kind of financial elements that are really emerging. There's a really important kind of financial monetary type element of society that you can't really get away from. So the, I think the question is slightly more about how you manage to successfully improve things for future generations and how you successfully manage to kind of build a little bit more of that, that financial cushion as part of making yourself a little bit more mobile. The third thing, career development. Right. And if you, you almost want to call it, say, career and professional development. Now, for many of us, we've got careers with employers. And I think even to an extent, if you are, say, self-employed or you run your own business, you've still got that element of personal and professional development that you continually go through. Now, you know, if you step back and think about it, that growth in the places that we spend a lot of our time is really, really essential. And I think there are a, a few really key moments in our in our lives in, in terms of in terms of work. So you could have work that you try to get when you're kind of younger and it might be like a part time job. And it's just understanding a little bit more about how the world of work 
really works. Then say, for example, you go into some kind of further study, you've got this kind of transitional point where you need to kind of move into, say, a professional job, or you can move into a professional job, and you're transitioning from being a student into, say, a professional worker. And for a lot of us, we don't have the, the background. We don't know what to expect. We don't know what to do. We haven't necessarily got the support mechanisms. So it's how do we make that transition? Then when you're in your workplace, and it, it, this could be people at any stages of their career, you've got that development within your workplace that you can really go on in order to grow as, an, as, as a person. Really important, right? Because we all go on that journey, um, but sometimes knowing how to grow, knowing how to evolve is a little bit difficult to really put your finger on. And so it's like, what's help, support, coaching, mentoring, can we get to help us with that? And then you've got kind of almost like later stage considerations, you know, kind of like when you're getting a little bit more senior, uh, maybe when you're looking at, say, changing a few different job roles, you might want to pivot your whole career and go in a completely different direction. So it's almost like how do we kind of capture the core skills that we've built up and how do we kind of package that up and are able then to just take it and deploy it in different places. So I think there's a real little bit of skill around that. Um, and then I think there's kind of maybe like a, a fourth element, which we talk a bit less about, but it's a journey we're really going on, which is around the physical improvement. You know, that kind of physical health is paramount because if you want to be strong enough to ride out the wave of the work you're doing, if you want to be strong enough in order to live long and enjoy everything that you're building and you're creating, if you want to have the energy to actually put the effort in so that you can sow seeds, water them and watch them grow, you need to be physically fit. And it's something that we can easily neglect, but it's a hundred percent worth making a priority. And for us, it's probably been like the biggest area that we've needed to make the most improvement on. And we've really tried to make that a bigger priority this year. And folks, I, I think when we kind of look across uh, growing our minds firstly, then when we kind of combine it with the whole um, investing and personal finance type of structure, discipline and awareness of how to build something that's going to um, really going to sustain us as well as we can pass on to future generations. You add in the whole element of looking after our careers and that professional development. So again, it's not just looking at you as an employee, but thinking about all of us in terms of just professionals developing the skills that we have as we go through life. And then we add in the importance of that strong physical foundation, that real strength and versatility and and willing and ability to really sustain effort. You know, and that's that's the foundation of all of this. When we put those kind of four blocks in place, those are the kind of things that we're really trying to speak about on avoiding broke. And that's the kind of structure that we really want to put together. I think when you put those elements together, you know, you can look and think to yourself, this is almost like a blueprint for personal development. It's almost like a blueprint for individual growth. You know, if you look, if you want to phrase it in terms of things that you see outside, things that we see the government's talking about, it's almost like a, it's almost like a structure to help you, uh, to help with social mobility. You know, we're, we're trying to put together these different blocks that once they are properly understood and nurtured and committed to, over time, with effort, it can really help drive big improvements in all of us. So guys... That's the picture that we're seeing. That's what I think's really been emerging on Avoiding Broke um, over this kind of last year and a bit. It's been pulling in those different elements. We've needed some time to really think about how we see it all coming together. You know, we're obviously doing the doing. You know, we're learning from everything that we're talking about. We're putting things in place for ourselves. And then it's almost like stepping back and saying, well, look, what does it all mean? I think what it means, guys, is that we're touching on a really important blueprint for personal development, an important blueprint for social mobility, an important blueprint for individual personal growth. I'm excited, guys, really excited. Um, and I hope you are as well, because you're all going on this journey with us. Now, as ever, please let us know, what do you think? Look at the elements that we've spoken about here. Does it make sense? 
you know, does it make sense when we talk about that mindset and that mentality? Does it make sense to look at that personal finance and investing? You know, what's your view on the whole career and professional development angle? You know, and what do you think about the importance of the physical well-being, physical strength, endurance? Let us know, guys, if we're missing anything, what do you think it is? You know, this is important, guys, because this is an opportunity for all of us to build that blueprint together. Because once we've built it, then we've got a structure that we can commit to, learn about, and we can start focusing our learning, focusing our efforts on improving in these areas. And with that improvement is going to come the growth. It's just effort, time, commitment, bang, we're growing and I'm excited. So guys, look, as ever, thanks for being with us today. I really thought it was important just to kind of have this reflective moment, have this important moment to reconnect with all of you, get your feedback back in, um, help you see the vision and the blueprint that I think is shaping. And then importantly, guys, we're gonna um, almost finesse this together. We're gonna tweak it together. Then we're gonna go after it together. I'm excited, hope you are too. And until next week, guys, have an awesome, awesome day ahead. Thanks guys, take care, bye.